I wrote this song, The Night the Eagle Screamed, as a tribute to the screaming eagles of the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault and all the courageous young American eagles who served in the war in Southwest Asia. In response to Freedom's call, young men and women from every state in the Union said goodbye to their loved ones, saluted the flag, and faithfully carried out their mission. The Allied forces had assembled the most awesome military force in the history of mankind. Powerful and accurate fighter bombers were poised and ready. But our military leaders knew they first had to eliminate Iraq's radar sites. The radar would have alerted Saddam Hussein's forces and allowed his anti-aircraft defense systems to fire on our young pilots. Military strategists selected the Apache helicopters of the 1st Battalion, 101st Aviation Brigade, to take this critical and dangerous mission of flying into Iraq and destroying the enemy radar sites. Lieutenant Colonel Dick Cody, commander of the 1st Battalion, 101st Aviation, received his orders and gallantly led his courageous pilots into the dark skies over Iraq. They found the radar sites, and using their deadly Hellfire missiles, they destroyed the eyes of the Iraqi forces, providing a blackened air corridor all the way to Baghdad. The first shots fired in the air war came from the Apache helicopters of the 101st Airborne Division. After Colonel Cody completed the highly successful mission, he led his Apaches back across the border to safety. He later told me that as he was making his way out of Iraq and back to Saudi Arabia, he looked up through the windshield of his cockpit and saw more than 100 fighter bombers streaking across the sky headed for Baghdad. When Saddam Hussein challenged the United States of America, he got more than he bargained for. In those early morning hours, he heard the piercing battle cry of America's Eagle of Justice. January 17, 1991, was the night Saddam Hussein heard the mighty eagle scream. On January 17, Cody got the word. He loaded up his hellfires and mounted up his bird. He lifted off into the night and headed for Iraq. They should have known the 101st wouldn't cut them in a slack. A hundred birds in Air Force Blue were calmly hanging high. The patches of the 101 were clearing out the sky. America had drawn the line and set the final date. When the eagle screamed and crossed that line, it sealed old Hussein's face. Daddy's taught him right, mother's taught him how to pray. From every state, the eagles came and gathered on that day. Their hearts were full of pride, they were America's dream. Saddam Hussein would hate the night he heard that eagle scream. Mighty screaming eagles flew across that line. The soldiers on the air saw had a single thought in mind. Whatever job they had to do, they had to do it well. Their faith and dedication gave us lots of tales to tell. Daddy's taught them right, mother's taught them how to pray. From every state, the eagles came and gathered on that day. Their hearts were full of pride, they were America's dream. Saddam Hussein would hate the night he heard that eagle scream. Daddy's taught him right, mother's taught him how to pray. From every state the eagles came and gathered on that day. Their hearts were full of pride, they were America's dream. Saddam Hussein would hate the night he heard that eagle scream. Saddam Hussein would hate the night he heard that eagle scream.